What is going on guys? Welcome to your 72nd Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a multiple selection list. And in the last tutorial, you guys learned how to build a list with a single selection. Or in other words, you can only select one item at a time. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be pro building a program where there's a list on the left where the bunch of items and there's a button in the middle and when you select a bunch of items on the left and click the button it moves it to the right so it's going to be a pretty cool tutorial and actually the cool thing about this tutorial is all the hard stuff we need to do is already built into java so i just need to teach you the methods so let's go ahead and get started make sure you have all your imports right there i'm going to go ahead and minimize that and now let's go ahead and start making some variables um we need two lists and a button to start out so private j list and the first list I'm just gonna name left list since this is gonna be on the left hand side and I'm gonna make another one identical to this but I'm gonna change I can't keep talking I'm gonna name this right list since this is the list that's gonna be on the right hand side so now we made two variables for left list and right list and they're both j list so now let's go ahead and just make a button um, private j button and I'm just going to name my move button because that's what it's going to do. It's going to move the stuff from the left to the right. It's actually going to copy it, but you know, what's the difference? Now, of course, we need an array or pretty much items to go in our list. And I'm just going to have it private static and I'm going to have a string because, you know, it's just going to be names. And I'm going to have foods. You can have anything you want. It really doesn't matter. But foods um, sounds something I can it'll be interesting so let's go ahead and type the foods I like which is of course bacon and let's see what else uh, wings had some last night they were amazing bone sucking sauce look it up ham and uh, let's get like two more beef I don't even really like beef all that much but I like the name of beef and that's the important thing and the last thing of course more bacon and let's go ahead and end this so now we have an array of called food and actually name that foods because I mean it's foods bacon wings ham beef and more bacon now make sure I got that and so now we have the four variables we need for this tutorial left list right list the button and the array so now let's go ahead and start well I guess we can go ahead and start building our constructor so public GUI of course it doesn't take any arguments and let's go ahead and add a title first called super just name it title and make a layout next so set layout and of course nothing new here we're gonna build new flow layout with empty parameters and now let's go ahead and start editing that list on the left the first thing we need to do is populate it with the foods so it's new j list and anytime you use a j list it takes the argument of an array or in other words what items do you want to put in it so we want to put those foods in it so let's go ahead and put foods in it bam a little too easy the next thing we're going to want to do to left list is if I spell it right is add the visible row count so set visible row count and make sure bam look at that how easy is that so how many of these items do you want to see by default and I want to see three items by default so now that our list is five items but we can only see three what we need to do is add something called a scroll pane that we're going to add later on but for right now left list dot set selection mode right there too lazy to type it and let me go ahead and end this statement and our selection mode unlike before it's going to be list selection model not Mosul model dot right there multiple selection and what this means is unlike last time where you can only select one thing at a time with multiple interval selection using your control and shift keys on your keyboard you can select multiple items at a time using this so now the last thing that we need to do to our um, left list is add it to the screen and also like I just told you guys before we need to add a new J scroll pane right here and what this allows you to do if we add the left list eventually 
is it allows you to have a list bigger than default viewing and it pretty much just put a scroll bar on your list that's what I'm trying to say it pretty much puts a scroll bar on your list so now we did our left list so now all we need to do now is make our move button and right list so go ahead and put move button and set this equal to new J button and make sure you have a space in between there and the parameters for this is the text you want to appear on the button so I'm just gonna have move and a little arrow just like that so we know that we're moving from the left to the right so now we can go ahead and add action listener listener and other words functionality to this move button so move button dot add action listener awesome and of course this is going to have an inner class because it's a lot easier so inside your add action listener parameter just go ahead and make a whole new class called new not boo new action listener just like that and this class of course doesn't take any parameters and inside your new action listener inner class we want to have one method and if you can see by our error it's called action performed so let's go ahead and add public void action performed make sure I spelled it right P R F O R M E D looks good and as your parameters for this just write action event event bam this is a little too easy that's the only problem with it now we can finally get to the good stuff of what we want to do again this is all default stuff that you need that's how they just made the program but now we get to the custom stuff what we want to actually do well the first thing we want to do when we click the move button is build our right list we already built that left list but the right list depends on what we select in the left list so go ahead and type right list dot and the first thing we need to do is set the list data or set the things we want in the list so go ahead and set list data and what this does is it takes an array as its argument just like um, let's see just like JList took an array as its argument set list data is also going to take an array as its argument to set the list data so how do we get an array of selected values from a left list well this is another cool thing just go ahead and type a left list dot get selected values right there how awesome is that get selected values and what left list dot get selected values does is whenever you select stuff on the left hand side of your screen or in the left list it makes an array of those selected values and that array is going to be passed in to set list data and essentially is going to create a list on the right hand side depending on what you selected on the left hand side how cool is that we don't have to make a new method for set list data we don't have to make a new method for get selected values everything's already built in method so that is you know it's just awesome so now that we made this button and we added some functionality to it let's go ahead and do one last thing and of course we need to add it to the screen so let's just go ahead and click add move button and now our move button is added to the screen so in the next tutorial we're going to be finishing up this program and actually um, building a right list and you'll see what I mean in the next tutorial so for now I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon.